What's going on NEM crew? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're getting some stuff done on the Datsun and we're actually gonna be finishing some things. All right, we got all these parts here that have to go on the Datsun. Let's, uh, let's stop procrastinating and just dive right in. Let's do it. So this shot right here brings a lot of joy to my life. Just knowing that by the end of this video, we're gonna have all these parts installed on the Datsun, um, just makes me feel really good. So, um, we got the, of course, the new seats, we got the center console um, and dash parts, um, we have the freshly painted air dam, and right in front of the seats, we got the brackets all completely welded, drilled, uh, painted, ready to be installed. Um, obviously, we needed to do the passenger side. I got that all wrapped up um, last weekend. I went fairly smooth, um, so I figured there's no point in really running you guys through that, so I don't have footage um, of getting uh, that seat uh, bracket done because we showed you the driver's side, which was definitely the harder side. The passenger side, you actually don't have to do any smashing of the transmission tunnel. You don't have to worry about that. It won't be impeding you at all. Um, diving in a little bit deeper, um, the driver side gives us issues because that's the side that the exhaust runs on. So they actually bowed out the transmission tunnel just a little bit um, on the driver side, just to give it a little bit more room for the exhaust to run. So that kind of figures out that mystery, but uh, Bottom line is both seats now with the brackets done it should bolt in the car fairly simply so there's no issues there. Um, we're gonna start with the center console because I don't wanna have to be climbing over these seats once they're in. So um, we'll dive right in and start with the center console stuff.
All right, the seats are in and they came out primo, primo, primo. Look at this. You should probably move this one back so you guys can see the other side, but everything mounted up good. Um, I'm not gonna mention the center console because it was a pain in the butt, um, but it definitely looks cleaner, sleeker. Um, there is a few plates up there for the dash part that I left off, just because unfortunately there's gonna be some slight trimming that needs to happen. Um, but I'm not too worried about it because uh, I have um, still to grab and get the, um, the head unit that I want uh, for the stereo system. So um, I don't have it yet, so I figured might as well just kind of, you know, get the center console in as best we can um, and then get the seats in because that was the main focus um, but the interior is definitely looking looking good um, one thing to notice too is we have cup holders thank god we have cup holders oh my gosh if you guys watched the last video I was talking about uh, five things that I hate about the Datsun here and uh, one thing that was on that list was the fact that I have no cup holder so it's gonna be awesome now to be able to actually have a spot for a drink or two uh, instead of throwing everything behind the seat um, I'm just going to quickly leather condition uh, these seats here um, clean up the interior just a little bit more probably gonna wrap it up here for today but we're gonna continue this video on tomorrow because there's a few minor other things we need to do. I want to get this thing washed and I want to take it for a cruise. So that will be coming up shortly. One thing to add before we get on to tomorrow's content. Um, a lot of you were mentioning or asking where these seats came from. They actually came from MCK Recaro seats. Um, I believe they're based in Thailand. Um, so I was a little bit skeptical getting these seats and ordering them, um, but um, they were actually really good. Um, stayed in communication throughout the whole process. Let me know when they shipped. Um, let me know when I was expected to receive them. So they kind of walked me through um, the process, assuring me that everything um, was legit, which was awesome. And the seats came, they were really good quality uh, they seem to be genuine Recaro seats um, and the upholstering job that they did because again these are custom upholstered that they did um, this is not how the Recaro uh, LX seats come um, in the cars that they originally came in um, but they they're I mean it seems to be pretty good uh, time will tell obviously um, haven't really used the seats too much, but from taking the seats in and out of the car a thousand times to do these brackets, um, there's no real wear on the seats. Um, but again, we'll we'll see with uh, with time here what happens, and hopefully they hold up. But if you guys want to check them out, I'll put them in the um, description, the link uh, to their uh, Facebook page. Um, all right, we'll see, we'll see you tomorrow when we get the rest of the stuff wrapped up on the dats in here. Officially the next day, we got a few things wrapped up already. Um, I had a pretty interesting discovery about the Datsun. And it seems that um, the color of my car is not actually the genuine color of um, like the factory color in which it came. Um, I got the air dam painted, and stupid me, I got it colored, or color matched to 
the actual genuine color without even realizing and thinking twice. But it is definitely different. I don't think you'll be able to tell if it's not. It's really dark. Let's pull this thing out and we'll see. That's a little bit better. I mean, it's very hard to tell in here. Um, but we'll uh, pull this thing out, see if the sun changes on how we, uh, we see this. That's a huge difference. In the sun you can definitely tell. I don't know if on camera you can pick up the purple tinge or the metallic that's in it. Now again, there's two options here. Either the guy I got it painted from didn't really match it 100%. Obviously there definitely is supposed to be some metallic in there, but there's definitely a mismatch here, which you can't really tell if it's in the shade but in the sun, there's a huge, huge, huge difference. But again, probably, I mean, on camera you might not be able to pick it up from here, but I can definitely tell the difference. So, I mean, it's better than it being Plasti dipped, but I'm not sure what we'll end up doing. I don't know what I'm gonna like more. We'll see. Let's just get this thing cleaned up and go for a drive. I ended up taking the Datsun for a drive. Um, it was nice to get back into the driver's seat. Unfortunately, um, as you can see here, I didn't position the, the GoPro properly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get some uh, proper uh, in-car point of view driver's footage. Um, and we'll have that uh, coming up very shortly in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. Peace out. And as always, stay classy, crew.